have even so in this session we are going to learn about uh, more about that uh, manual testing so manual testing uh, is basically is a process of finding out the defects uh, defects or bugs in a software program like uh, uh, what is means first we have they have to check on the what is defects or bugs so whatever features are uh, provided by requirement documents if something is missing uh, related to that is called as defects or bug in a testing part like uh, if uh, by business team it is uh, given as the uh, name of uh, project as a facebook and uh, by mistake the spelling or uh, typo errors is uh, not correct in that name so it is called as a defect so in the method of tester plays an important role of uh, end user end user is a basically is uh, the person who is going to use the application for uh, banking application like if i am using net banking so i am the customer so i am the end user for that and where it and verify that all the feature of the application are working correctly the tester manually executes the test cases without using any automation tools so manual testing does not require any application or without using any application the use uh, the tester can test that uh, software or website whatever is feature is uh, available for testing so manual testing does not require knowledge of any testing tool so if i am watching uh, tv and if i want to test that um, um, the application t whatever you use or set up box application you can call as or any bot content or any website if i am uh, playing with a game so that is all for test so the end user can test anything so that test for manual testing it is not require any of the tool to test that one of the software testing fundamental is 100% automation is not possible uh, because uh, everything is not automated it is not possible to automate each and everything so manual testing is a very much important part on that so first we have to check what is the stlc or you can call as software testing life cycle uh, it will introduce how you are going to perform the testing what is the steps of the testing so we are going to do there is a five types on that uh, there is a five different stages of uh, software testing life cycle one is the for test planning test planning is basically uh, uh, who is involving on that like a uh, test lead test manager project lead and project manager is a basic uh, requirement test planning or you can call as requirement gathering or uh, the continue to test the scope of testing how much is that so what is the functionality is going to introduce or the further releases so uh, its output is test policy test strategy and test plan so test policy uh, and test strategy is almost same content test plan is how you are going to execute how much time it will take and who is involved on that and uh, the test strategy which method you are going to follow and everything is in included in test planning test analysis is basically a task of test engineer and uh, its output is requirements clarification and notes so uh, in some terms it is called as brd document so whatever brd document is uh, provided um, by test lead or test manager and project manager to the tester so they can uh, create a roadmap for themselves to how they are going to test for that so that is basically comes under the test analysis test design in creating the test cases and uh, its uh, steps uh, that is uh, for creating test cases it is very much important part for test designing so test cases will contain the test case name um, with test case id and the steps 
how they are going to perform or, or you can call it as test description so it's accepted result and the status so how the status column will indicate pass and fail method test execution after creating the test cases the tester task is to execute all of the test cases and provide the execution results and if they found uh, any defects so whatever they have made in the test design phase uh, in the test cases if it is not matching with the requirement so that is called as defects or if that defect is going to fix so tester has to execute the test cases again that is called as retesting and is the related feature or as well then uh, finally the test closer test closer uh, the stakeholder involved on that that is the actor uh, project leads project manager test lead and test manager output is a test summary report so this all comes under the stlc life cycle that is called as software testing life cycle So there is a different types of manual testing you can call as black box testing, white box testing, unit box testing and uh, system testing, the integration testing and acceptance testing. We can discuss each and every uh, types in a um, some other session. Uh, the basic and major part involved in the types of testing is fun functional testing. Functionality is totally related with the functionality, uh, whatever the content they have delivered by the uh, development team. So, uh, it will if I am testing any web page application or website, so its a main feature is all of the menu content, or you can call as a header panel. So, the header panel contains a uh, it's a different different pages or different different segments uh, to test on that so just like if i am having five pages home uh, contact us about us and its feature and then the uh, fifth one is uh, related with uh, any functionality part so all of the five pages should uh, work properly navigation should work properly footer section should work left and right if left and right panel is available the content on the left and right panel should be proper when i am clicking on the link uh, so it will jump to the navigated part so that is called a functional testing so inside the functional testing different there are different steps unit testing integration testing smoke or sanity user acceptance a localization you can call as uh, then the cross browser testing and there is a various methods available on the functional testing non-functional testing will include its performance endurance load volume stability and usability performance the how the application is performing if uh, there is a various uh, users are uh, opening that website or application and they are working on the same time time so how it the application will perform for load testing if uh, there is a millions of customer on hitting on home menu and uh, so how its performance goes so basically these types of non-functional testing uh, is not possible on the user perspective uh, so it will be covered on them manually uh, for some of the part but major part it is covered by automation tool so like performance or load and stress testing of the website maintenance phase will come under the regulation and maintenance part now jump to the uh, test case management tool there various test case management tool but i have included only three that is one for the alm or you can call it quality center so application life cycle metal management then bugzilla and testing if you want to uh, learn more about that so you have to visit on some uh, website like you can call as blue 99 and if you open uh, in while going testing uh, select that quality center or you can call as alm so here after sign up you can get a seven days uh, quality center uh, login in free of cost 
so you can log in it and uh, hope the test cases will be created uh, you can check it hope you like it if you have any queries or comments please provide in the comment box or uh, mail me on ryanrecordy at the gmail.com please do like and subscribe my channel thank you